So welcome back everybody. It's another lineup review and we're here on Mushroom Fleet. We're going to take a look at some ships. These are of course highlights because we've got so many players. Um, we don't really have time to give everyone a long, long review like we used to. But I am going to try and get a word with anybody who's on TeamSpeak because there are a bunch of people here. So we've got this guy needs to spawn in, the placeholder. They could all be placeholders in fact. But we'll still take a little look down the line. Got a number of cool looking ships in tonight. A few from the last line, which actually isn't allowed, so we'll have to find out what that's doing here. Might be a placeholder. This one I've seen before, but it didn't have turrets, and to be fair, it might have been built by someone else, so maybe it's a different ship. Don't know. And this was also here at the last lineup, so I'm quite confused, but hey. Do you know what? Maybe if it's a highlight review, you can bring your ship again, because it's, it's only a highlight, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, this guy's cool. Oh, wow, I really like that. It's really simple. Found the ship. Melsum. That's a really nice effect he's got there. Right, okay, so next I've got this one. Oh look, it's the Falcon. But the Fal Imperium Fal Halter Fal Fal it's the Imperial Hunter Falcon. I think it's Where? smaller than mine. Just at the back, near the back. And we've got a Trek ship. Oh, there it is. It's pretty cool looking. And there's a needle ship. Is that you in the needle? No, you're in a cam bar. Oh. I am, of course, in my review chair this time. So we're going to fly down the line, take a look at some of these ships. And what, what's this? What the hell is no, this? No, this is the ship that needs to be spawned in. Oh, right, okay. Uh, oh my god, I had to fly through it and look what it did. Oh, me. My turn. My turn. Yeah, your turn. Wow. Did it heal you? Uh, I don't know. I'm in cat mode. That's awesome. Yeah, it says repairing. I didn't know it did that. Yeah, so it can repair you. Okay, nice. It's a medical ship. Cambot repair ship. <laughs> Again. Welcome back, everyone. We're looking at this ship by Morb. It's called the Nurse Shark. And yeah, tell some more about it. So the Nurse Shark is a test bed for a lot of the new features in the game, which is what brought me back. Um, mm -hmm. And also, I wanted to build a ship that was a ship of peace, and I, I didn't want to do another warship. So um, it looks like you guys have already found the car watch. Um, any small craft that flies through the repair ring is hit with shield recharge and repair beams from multiple angles. Nice. There is also, I built a, a logic driven towing beam, uh, which was less successful. It's basically a, an automated pull beam with no damage that uh, helps me drive along damaged ships, ideally. Um, it's also a carrier, and it has four auxiliary craft, one of them for troop transport, and also a series of uh, auxiliary craft that can be outfitted for different missions, ideally repair and so on. Yep. Um, I've chosen two rooms on the interior to show you today that I feel like sort of capture what I was trying to do with the interior design. Um, I wanted to have sort of a, a, a shiny veneer on the ship, uh, accompanied by these really industrial spaces that are that are sort of hidden under that. So those these rooms here at the side. Uh, those are actually pilot quarters. Um, I was uh, keen on showing you, uh, I've got the lab section, which I think really captures what I was trying to where, do with the, where, the shiny veneer zone. Where is it, bud? Also. Um, it is forward of the ship, and uh, if you enter build mode and go towards the nose cone, uh, you will uh, see it there. Yeah, okay. Your, uh... Have you got a mechanical keyboard? I have got, here, give me a moment. Yeah. My back off is it easier? That is a little bit better, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've got like various storage compartments for weaponry. 
Yeah, the gunship has no guns. Um, I, I wanted to be really clear on it. Its primary defense is that it's marked as a hospital ship, and it also has, uh, at this point, 200,000 shielding with 60% ion hardening. Oh, nice cargo bay. I mean, a uh, hangar even. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to, to really get into those industrial spaces. And so there are a lot of parts with exposed systems and, and things of that kind. And then on the second level, the operations deck is where it gets really shiny and futuristic and Abramsy. Ah. Parts of this reminiscent runs. of <clears throat> the Camino in Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely something I was thinking about when I was when I was putting this together. Um, the the containment rooms. I was also thinking about ways that we could play this game other than blowing each other up. Yeah. Um, and so I thought, wouldn't it be cool to try and catch a spider? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's, we did. And, we did that. That's definitely fun. And uh, I also included these little shelves so that people can can place the little plant specimens they pick up on various planets. And, uh, of course, plenty of medical supplies and surgery rooms and all kinds of things like that, so we can uh, ideally get a full faction up to maximum health very quickly. Awesome. And what was the thought with the... Uh... Wait a minute. Are they activation... Ah, uh, they're activation areas. Got it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I also wanted to try and do a role-play ship, and so there are different roles for different people to play apart from just flying ships, and in that command room that you might have observed there, uh, I put all kinds of things. There's a button that activates the blast doors over the windows, uh, things of this kind. Uh, there's another button that turns on the alarms in the windows and gets the pilots down to their ship. Awesome. Well, there it is, guys. That's the Nurse Shark by Morb. Um, I'd love to take a look at some future ships that you build and so on and so forth, so please come back to the lineup again. And, um, Absolutely, yeah. That's a very interesting design with a bit of function on it. So thanks again for coming by. Certainly, thanks so much. All right. See you next time, guys. Welcome back, everyone. We're at the lineup review, and I'm here with the Mega Cybran. He has another ship to show me. What's it called, mate? It's the OF Selfless Mark II. I'm not very original with names lately. So what's its primary role? Uh, salvage lots of asteroids short amount of time. Just a super salvage, actually. So... Strip miner. Yay! Yay! It's a big salvager. It's a big salvager. And I like the a... color scheme. Thank you. It's a very clean color scheme. Is that a shuttle on top? Uh, that's uh. Scout ship Scout. I made. Scout ship. Some kind of super warp ship that can warp over and over again. So mm -hmm. it's nice to travel in. Okay. Uh, well, it's finished it's almost, and It's almost like uh, Red Dwarf and Starbug. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look inside here, shall we? Oh, God, did someone just crack into me? What, 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 what? Oh, what? There's, there's my chair. Right. Let's have a look then. Nice corridor. Yeah, it's not... doesn't have a lot of interior. Do you know what this reminds it's... me of? Tell me. World Eater. Oh, yeah. Because it's got the core room in the middle, like, and the only difference is you put it way back there. I put mine at the front, but then that was a problem anyway. I should have put it further back. And I put it in the middle. Displaying <laughs> messages. Oh yeah, that's right. Full Happen. impulse. Firing impulse thrusters. I forgot I've got voice commands on. <laughs> engines off. Cutting power to engines. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. It works really well. Okay, anyway, back to the what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the Salvador Mark II. Yep. Interesting. Is there anything in particular you want me to look at? Mm, well, it's not... Nice chair. <laughs> Thank you. I always try to make a new chair when I make a cool new ship. That is a cool chair. I can light up the room a bit. This is real dark right now. No, it looks fine. That's a nice chair. I might copy that design. It's simple. Very simple. 
<laughs> nice design in there as well. So there you go. Well, there's mu not much to say about big salvaging ships. They're big and they harvest stuff. But I love the detail you put in. Is it jump capable? Yep. Nice. I can see the jump drives. I'm guessing it is. Sometimes it's just decorative, you know? Well, there you yep. go. Jump all right, and it has uh, a couple of locker missiles for defensive purposes. So, it's Omega Cybrans. Uh, Omega Cybrans new salvage ship. Oh, well, thank you very much for bringing it into the review, buddy. No problem. We'll have Any to have a salvage race sometime. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're looking at uh, Jath's latest fighter. It's called Black Widow. And there's a lot of detail in a very small space. I like it. Got some new shapes. Intersecting pentas. Or should we call them heptas now? <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like what you've done with the uh, wedges to give, uh, you know, that texture underneath. It's pretty legit. Is this based on anything? Because it looks familiar. This is 100% uh, original okay. ship of my design. I actually built it for a fighter tournament I had a while back, and it was pretty much stripped down, that version. Um, this version is completely re, uh, completely hulled and ready to ready for videos. Basically, it's, I built it to look nice. It doesn't have any hardly systems in it yet, though. Um, no interior, but I was going to build it so that it could be used as a pirate ship eventually. Okay, what's it fitted with then? Right now, like literally, I haven't done anything on it except for uh, a few shields and some thrusters. But I eventually plan on doing like some mean-looking purple black light beams, damage beams, and a few uh, missiles that come out of the bottom. It'll be, it'll be pretty neat. Hmm. And I was also thinking about having it so like there'd be a uh, logic-driven damage pulse in the middle here, so if somebody got stuck inside here somehow, a damage pulse would destroy them. Hmm. But that, that's going to be experimental and future tests, future... <laughs> Okay. But I'm also going to have an interior that's actually going to be somewhat usable. Cool. Unlike some of the other uh, pirate versions that we had lately. So what's the name of the ship again? This is the Black Widow. The Black Widow by Jath. Nice. Alright. Awesome, dude. I can't wait to see some ship videos coming out involving this one. I'm going to move on to Slate Gorgon's ship now. What is it's a pretty cool ship you're about to look at. He's got some good stuff in that thing. Yeah, we already looked at it yeah, yesterday. But Let's we'll, just skip it. We'll look, no, no, we'll look at it again. Um, pull him up here, but briefly, because we're supposed to be picking up the pace, and uh, we're t starting to slow down a bit. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to move on now, so uh, here we go. Well, Slate's not here, and he's actually brought the same ship again. So basically, I'll say everything that I said last time, and I'm going to go down this hangar. Well, the side's not open. Yeah, and then I'm going to turn around and go back. Boop. Rah. Did it work? Should I get through? I don't know. Drop him back to lounge. Okay, well, basically, guys, it's the PLC Work in Progress 4 by Slate Gorgon. Looking even better now. So, uh, just giving a shout out to Slate for his hard work on that ship. It's very tidy. And we like tidy. Nice engines as well. The glow's coming out real nice. And we're going to move on to the next person. So that would be Kamikaze Dalek. So, is Kamikaze Dalek here? Kamikaze Dalek, welcome to the stream. I see you brought yeah, nice Destiny. Yeah, nice to be here. Yep, my prototype. Have you brought this before? Uh, yes, but with different turrets. I thought so. The turrets do look a little bit more legit. They're much old, you know. They are they, yeah. They're more styled after the show. Yep. Any other improvements you want to point out? Because this is a speed highlight, so I just want to look at the stuff you want me to look at, and then we'll move well, on. Well, nothing else has been really um, changed, but in the future I'll make a 800 meter long uh, destiny with oh. detail on it. 
Yes, please. I'd love to see that. It's a beautiful ship. One of the first big ships I ever saw in Starmade was a Destiny. It was a lot smaller than this, though, and everyone thought it was huge. <laughs> as, it, as is the way. So there it is. Very nice. In the 100 meter one, I expect there to be a gate in the gate room. Oh, yes. We can make the dial spin now. Beautiful ship. Love the destiny. Great show. All right, well, not much more to say about that. So, uh, thank you for bringing it in, of course. And maybe thank we'll you. do a more in-depth review on it when uh, we get a chance. All right. Okay. And then Later. we're going to go on to the next one. Thank you very much, mate. So it'll be Phalanxia next. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're looking at the ANF Vantage with Phalanxia. Um, I noticed that this was here the other day, so tell me what's different about it. All right. I added turrets on top yep. and uh, did some logic work. Okay. Show us what you've done. All right. Show me your oh. logic moves. <laughs> That's what we want to see. Gotta fly over to the activation module. Oh. Where's that? Is it inside it? Mm hmm It's inside. <laughs> okay. There we go. Where's a good angle? Uh, any, really. Yeah? All right, oh, okay. on top. Yeah. Where? All right. Ah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Got the... Lights. Link to the windows. Mm hmm And blast shields. Yes. I like it. All right, moving over to the interior lights, switching off of red alert. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just having a look in the window now. Oh, there we go. Red alert. Engine engine room. Nice. Right. There we go. Back to normal. Lights on. Well, that's really cool. Hmm? Just have Got a little bridge. Poke, little poke around. <laughs> like a rabbit warren. All right, you got more corridors and rooms everywhere. What the? My, sh my <laughs> yeah. ship was just going nuts when I was trying to look around. Basically, we'll have to do a more detailed review for you on this one at some point, mate. It's got an interesting insides. All right, thanks. Well, thank you very much for bringing it by to show us the update on that one. As it's a highlight mm -hmm. review, we're just going to skim straight on to the next guy. Ah, oh, wow. I'm going <laughs> to skim straight on over here. And who's this? Uh, Kazami. Kazami is next. Okay, first of all, welcome back. This is Kazami, and he's got a ship for us to look at on the lineup review today. What's the name of the ship? It's the uh, Hydra Reaper. It's a light strike fighter that I've been working on. The Hydra Reaper, which is a light strike fighter. I like it. It's very small. I'm guessing it's cheap. Is that advanced yeah. armor? Yes, it is. Oh, I'll retract that statement then. But still. So is it, uh, is it uh, just AMC, long range AMC or what weaponry does it stick to? It's got long range beam missiles and uh, uh, damage beam cannons. Okay. Interesting. Well, as always, with small ships, there's not really much to say. So is there anything in particular you want to look at? Uh, not really. It I like the engine design. I mean, I would say the engine design is nice and tidy. Not many people use green. Purple stripes on grey look cool. Yeah. Um, it's got a cool shape to it. And uh, interesting weapon choice. I'd be nice to see how it actually performs. 
as with all these things. So uh, stick around and hopefully we'll get to spawn it in against some other stuff. Yes, sir. Very nice indeed. All right, well, thanks for bringing it along. And I can't wait to see what you bring next time. Thank you. All right, man. See you soon. What was your name again? Kizami. Kizami and the ship? Hydro Reaper. The Hydro Reaper. All right, thanks very much, mate. Thank you. So now we're going to move on to Ender. I'll be his translator. Okay, so welcome back everybody. Today we're sat here and we've got Jath interpreting and channeling the voice of Ender. And today we're looking at the IF Han Solo. So, please tell me... He says this is the Destroyer S. The Destroyer S by Ender. Okay. This specific one is the Han Solo XD. The Han Solo XD. So what's it called? Han Solo XD or? I don't think the XD is part of it. It's not. It's I think this space. is the. I think that's the name of the ship. And it's, it's Han a, Solo. It's a. It's a destroyer S, like a type. Type. Okay, a so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rephrase that. When I put this video <laughs> up, yeah, it's gonna say something by Ender. What does he want me to type? <laughs> destroyer. Wait. You can only destroyer have one S. word. <laughs> I can't. Destroy your ass. There's a character limit, guys. I destroy can't call your ass it. is what he wants us to call. Yay, destroy your <laughs> ass. Right, well, I love the way it looks like a broken up fish meets submarine style thing. It's great. It kind of looks like it's got a boat section there. But then if you look at it from above, it kind of looks like a bit of a fish whale thing. But then it's all broken up and attached via science magic. I like it. It's really cool looking. It is. It's got some really interesting design styles on there. Nice underlighting um, and so on. Brilliant. Uh, inside joke, this is modeled after a thing from Sarah. I don't know what that is, but don't worry. We, we'll let people who know what that means uh, have a little chuckle. Um, nice turrets as well. Interesting asymmetric design. Asymmetric. Yeah. And uh, nice hull, hull detailing throughout. Some interesting styles here. Really looks like it's got energy inside it that's glowing out. It's beautiful. So uh, I'd love to do a full review on that, maybe when he's actually got his mic working. So uh, until then, I'm going to call it. So this is the... What did we call it in the end? Destroyer S. The Destroyer S by Ender. And the name of this Destroyer S is the Han Solo. Okay. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to move on to the next ship in the review. So, who is that? Okay, welcome back, everybody. Today we're at Lineup Review and we're looking at a ship by Melson. This one is called the Investigator Frigate Mark I. I'm loving the clean lines. It's got a really interesting attitude to the polygon model. So instead of trying to element, just do curves everywhere, you just go on with what we have. So I like the simple geometry. But you've ended up using a lot of different block types to get some nice textures. Uh, good choice of lighting. Nice use of the uh, like non-block pieces here and there. Um, and then I love this section, the conduit in the middle between the head and the main body. Also the actual tower, the bridge. I wish I could do my bridges like that. Because <laughs> it looks great. Uh, also that antenna. That black paint. Looks like it might be black paint. Nice interesting use of detailing for the blast doors and finally with the engines got a really cool concept with grill and blue lights there you can expose just a few of the thrusters and the rest of it's pretty much implied nice cowlings as well but yeah is there anything in particular you want to say about the ship uh, not really nice it's got a, it almost looks like a nebulon B with uh, two turrets on each side and a really nice tower but the engines are a little bit more like turbines. Uh, yeah. 
which is really awesome. I love that design. This is a cool ship. Can't wait to see other ships that you've built. And if you haven't built any yet, please build some soon because I've got a good feeling about this design style. It's really nice. So yeah, you should be proud of that one, mate. I really like it. Thanks a lot. Mm. These turrets are cool as well. So it may be interesting to see if you want to do some combat tests. They'll be coming up soon on the server. If you're around, I'm sure you'll be invited. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming along to the review. So again, this one was the Investigator Frigga Mark One by Melson. So thanks again for coming along. And we'll move on to the next ship. Thanks, dude. Welcome, everybody. We're going to take a look at Caleb's Millennium Falcon on uh, this lineup review. So thanks for waiting, first of all, because you're quite far back in the line here. Can't even see no, the beginning okay. from here. You know, you just about <laughs> see something spinning in the distance there. <laughs> right. So first of all, uh, brilliant ship. Uh, it's smaller than the one I built, so really nice scale to get the detail. Um, it's quite a challenge as well to get the uh, overall shape, so I love how you've done it. Um, you've got a lot more detailing in your texturing using different materials to give it a bit of a texture like you know throughout the whole plating yeah um, even shot it a little bit too <laughs> yeah and then the use of systems as well exposed the cysts a few of the systems to get a, just a couple more different texture types that's really nice uh, moving around to the back we've got the thruster design which is pretty obvious you've got logical uh, logical feet <laughs> with a docking ramp. Do you know what? We might actually have to ask you if we can use this one as a stand-in because I haven't got one with an interior. And to be honest, you've done it, mate. This is a really good version. <laughs> this is really good. It really yeah. feels like the Millennium Falcon in here. It's nice. Did you it's follow the, the layout? The... Or have you just done it for functionality? Well, here's the thing. I mean, it's I was looking at reference. Thing. I was yeah. looking at reference pictures, and no two interior design is exact. I cannot find <laughs> like an absolute. Hey, mate, do you know what the they? Film. Do you know what they call that? They call that the George Lucas effect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you know which edition are we talking? <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I totally feel you when you're saying that, mate. It's very difficult because, to be honest, there are uh, variances in the sets. So, you, it's, it, you know, it, it wasn't actually a defined space. Like, so they couldn't just go on location and film in the Millennium Falcon, could they? Yeah, no, and it's, it's funny, too, because, like, Harrison Ford, I mean, he took the role kind of seriously. So, like, he literally goes up, sits in the cockpit when they first built it, and then and he asks Lucas, uh... So how do you fly this thing? And Lucas just all Lucas has to say is just like, oh well, uh, you just push some buttons and levers and uh, you just kind of make it up, you know. <laughs> Brilliant. So there it is. I love this thing. I want to see more of it, and uh, we might actually, yeah, it might actually come up with something to use it for, if you don't mind. Oh, that would be good. It would match up pretty well with my slave one. It matches up pretty well with the skins I've made, and I'm making the Boba Fett skin soon, so yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> so maybe we're going to see a lot more of this ship in the future. But uh, thanks again, uh, Caleb, and uh, hang around so I can have a word with you after. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're on lineup review, and we're taking a look at the Ptolemy, built by Enterprise -E and Ethior. So, yeah, tell me a little bit about it. Well, we decided we wanted to have a dedicated vessel for salvaging in our faction because we were in a survival mode and all we had with us to do salvaging was tiny little shuttles. To... And so we spent about a couple of weeks working on this on and off because Enterprise's schedule as university was sort of a roadblock. But um, we built it with salvaging in mind again. Um, and uh, we had to decide what are we going to put the salvagers and uh, what are we going to do for defenses. So uh, it comes with a little bit of an eye on defense, uh, a couple of defensive uh, beam arrays, uh, four turrets for at to uh, keep uh, missiles away from it, an escape pod which Enterprise wants to show off, 
<laughs> and um, let's and uh, let's see, it it was supposed to have a dish, but we decided to exclude the dish because it kept getting in the way of a camera angle when doing salvaging operations. Okay. And let's see, uh, and we left it deliberately uh, empty in, for the most part to make it lighter and easier to mass produce if need be. And surprisingly, now show off the uh, pod. Right, you guys ready? Where is it's it? At the, it's at the back. Okay. Yeah, just keep an eye out. It's going to pop you out the back. see a nice sized blast yeah, door at the I very back. It, I see it, yeah. Oh, nice. Attack it. <laughs> <laughs> we rigged oh. up a little bit of logic, so the second it undocks, the door opens. Nice. There you go. It's got an escape pod. Right. So <laughs> if this is built for salvaging, where are the salvages? That's what everyone will want to know. Give us a second, I'll show you. And yep. You may have to cycle through the turrets a little. I didn't need to, don't worry. It's fire salvages when ready. Yo, but you're right in the line of fire. <laughs> yes. There, there you go. go. There it is. Comes out the deflector each asteroid's dish. Like, each asteroid's like candy. You can go through a station in 15 uh, minutes, uh, approximate. That's not bad at all. What's the name of the ship again? Telemi. Nice. And it's by Ethior and Enterprise. -y. Thanks for coming, guys. And I'll see you all next time. And I'm right behind them. Yeah. Oh! Do we get to keep this one? Yes. Welcome back everyone, today we're at the lineup review and this is the final ship today. Um, the line is sort of all scattered now and the far, it's far away the beginning. Well here we are, Ethior's Defiant. Tell me all about it mate. You may remember the original one if you dig through the old archives far enough. Where we were doing a lineup, a ship review of the original Defiant with uh, weapons testing. Well, it's been refitted, retrofitted, and modular, uh, mo uh, mod ugh. modular, yeah, modular. made modular. For the first part, I've re uh, replaced all the advanced armor with basic hull, nice. so it, because that's easier to uh, manufacture in mass for survival servers. Um, I've given it a salvage array, uh, because the original version, while it could kill sh um, almost anything of similar size it went up against, it could not eat them. Now it can. I've given it a pair of damage beams because now cannons are kind of good against large stationary targets, but fast-moving ones, forget it. The beams will make up for that. And um, special unique new features include a radar jammer which Tom can see active already uh, piercing defense so it's got an armor bonus so these basic hole blocks while they have no armor by themselves now they've got 30% armor they can take a couple of hits and uh, full bore um, ion defense so it's got at least uh, about hang on I need to jump out of the core it's got 520,000 shields itself. With the ion defense, it's got over a million now. So it can take some hits for, for, from, sh from similar sized ships for a while. And um, to be honest, most of uh, Zero's current pirates, the fighters and interceptors, yawn. <laughs> It'll take a big swarm of them to take this thing down. It's quite flat as well, so... It's yeah, surprising. It gives a slim. It gives a slim profile. Uh, here, I will even uh, back up a little. Get get these ready. Uh, salvage beams. Um, there we are. Salvage beams up the front. Yeah. Good for. Uh, we've been using this as a uh, go-to uh, salvage ship while we're getting the Telemi ready. And uh, damage beams. You don't want to stand in front of that. It's all right. Yes, I do. Protected sector, it's fine. Um, yeah, 305 damage on unarmored blocks, that's okay. 
It's got stop effect on it to take and slow down fighters. Cool. The always popular cannons, which are slightly buffed with punch through. Slightly, I should say. You can see it. It's going through a couple of his blocks on the Cambot, poor Cambot. No, we must have gone into the next and sector. The and Mine. these things. They got ridiculously long range. I can snipe something about two sectors out, it seems, with these missiles. It's always useful. Hmm. Well, good job. Do you notice how it's much more vibrant and jump... with these colors? Yeah. Much more the basic vibrant. Hole bri the basic hull is brighter in color. Mm. And it's got jump drive now, too, so it can go places. Nice. Well, thanks for bringing the update to us. I'm going to charge it. And uh, make sure to go check out Ethiel's channel. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, we've come you to the end of the line. When we spawn it in. I'm going to come up now to the beginning of the line. We are going to be doing a new station review format, but we're still working on that. So there'll be announcements on the GPS. Yeah. So thanks again, everyone. That's the end of the show. There'll be more Star Made tomorrow. And uh, that's all we got for you. So thanks again. Ready to head home, Enterprise? Give me a sec. Where are you? Go uh, oh, I see in. you. Oh my god. It's a duck! Oh god! Wow, you really hit that. One of them's just stopped. You just stopped it dead. Whoa, whoa. You can't see anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there it is, guys. We call that line to an end. See you next time.